It means not having to be a chameleon and changing who you are just for the sake of getting a woman's validation or getting a woman's attention. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Mindful Gains. I'm Bryce. Today, I wanted to discuss a book that I finally completed. Took me a while. Life be going on sometimes, but it's called How to Be a 3% Man by Coach Corey Wayne. Corey Wayne is a relationship and dating coach on YouTube. He's got over 2,000 videos out there. Guy has content out the ass. And I want to discuss, is this book brilliant or is it bullshit? Before I jump in, please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you know when I drop content just like this. First off, let's talk about what a 3% man even is. Coach Corey Wayne says, the 3% man is one of the three men out of 100 that a woman meets and is drawn to because he understands who she is and better yet, understands who he is. So that's kind of Coach Corey Wayne's philosophy that there's only 3% of men out there who actually get women that understand male, female, masculine, feminine energy. That's what's fascinating about this book because this book kind of presents almost an unfamiliar dynamic to the dating game and to relationships in general. What I enjoyed about this book is how Coach Corey Wayne really focuses on being a man, how we have to come from a place of centeredness and not anxiousness. To me, in reading this book and digesting and processing all the information, it's really important as a man when you're out here dating, when you've been married for years or you've been in a long term relationship with a woman. It's very important to always continue courting our women. And I don't mean our as like possession, like she's mine. I just you know what I mean? Like just courting women in general, like the courtship never really ends. I think a lot of us men we tend to lose sight of that. We get complacent in our relationships. We think that, oh, well, I've already got the girl. I can chill out now. I can kick my feet up and relax. And it doesn't always work that way. Matter of fact, it never works that way. So am I going to say, is it bullshit? No. Am I going to say, is it brilliant? Eh, no, not brilliant. But he does provide a ton of value in this book. The reason I'm even reviewing the book is because it comes from an angle of self-improvement, personal growth and development, and learning how to understand the dynamic between men and women. Being a 3% man just really means being confident in who you are. It means not having to be a chameleon and changing who you are just for the sake of getting a woman's validation or getting a woman's attention. A 3% man is somebody who is centered in himself, secure within himself, that knows what he wants, that is purpose driven, somebody that doesn't have to tweak himself or his personality. That's why this book really resonates with me, because as I grew up, I was conditioned in a I was a knucklehead. Honestly, it really breaks down how women come from more of an emotional place. And men come from more of a logical place, not saying women are not logical and smart and stuff like that. I'm just saying that that's just what it is. That's just female nature and male nature. Women can come from more of an emotional place. Things are based off of how they feel in any particular moment. A woman can tell you that she loves you on Monday and then Friday she's like, I really don't like you. I hate you or whatever. You may have done something that has her feeling that way in that particular moment. And myself, I've been guilty of this. I've gotten wrapped up in, well, why is she feeling that way? What have I done? I need to correct this. I need to, I'm coming from that place of logic and problem solving, trying to fix whatever that situation may be instead of staying in my integrity, staying a rock and just realizing, hey, that's just female nature. That's just how women are. And I need to go ahead and just love her through this problem or whatever she's feeling over there and just love her through it. I had to learn that. And this book has been very instrumental in helping me learn that. I found it to be very helpful. And for anybody else who is trying to understand men and women and how we interact with each other on a subconscious level, he's got some good stuff in here. 
I would definitely say for anybody who is considering getting his book or delving into his content, take a look at it. You know, take from it what you can and whatever may work for you and whatever doesn't, do away with it. It doesn't if it don't work for you, it don't work for you. And for me personally, yeah, he's got a, he's got a ton of value in here. I'm in my late 30s and I've been on this path of like deconditioning myself from a lot of the nonsense that I've picked up and thinking this is how it's supposed to be and just not really knowing how to navigate relationships from a healthy standpoint and how to not get wrapped up in pitfalls that are always going to happen in relationships and just to understand that dynamic. It's been very important and very helpful, definitely as I'm out here dating too. Yeah, I think that uh, anybody who is looking to level up their dating game, level up their relationships, and level up themselves as an individual and how they present to the world, I think this book is worth grabbing. It's it's a great tool to have and a great resource to have if that's what you're looking to do. He comes from a place of self-improvement. He comes from that place of growth and from that place of remaining in integrity as a man and not being knocked off your square so easily whenever some type of emotional uh, punch is thrown your way. And I think a lot of us deal with that, especially a lot of us who may not have seen healthy relationships modeled when we were children. We, we never saw it. So as we get older, we're trying to figure it out and trying to get it right. Hopefully, hopefully we are. Is the book worth picking up? Absolutely. One thing he says is you need to read this book 10 to 15 times before you're able to like really absorb it and really gather what he's trying to present. Now, I'll be honest, I didn't read it 10 to 15 times. I read the book once and I have listened to it on Audible once as well. He says that we don't really get everything out of a book when we read it once. So in order to be able to pick up on this information and really apply it to our lives and make it become second nature, that we need to read it 10 to 15 times. I've seen mixed reviews about that statement on YouTube. You know, some people are like, well, you know, I shouldn't have to read your book 10 to 15 times if it was written a bit better. But hey, I'm not here to, to, to get all into that, that level of it. I understand what he's saying. You're not going to go to the gym just one time and understand how to do a movement so well that you don't ever need to go back to the gym again. No, you're going to need to keep going back, keep getting better, keep tweaking things so that you can maximize your results. And I believe that that's what he means when he says you need to read this book 10 to 15 times. And just so I don't make this video any longer than it needs to be, Coach Corey Wayne, he's about self-improvement and I appreciate the information that he's pumping out there. And I just wanted to make a quick review on it. So hopefully this video provided you with some value. If it did, be sure to check out one of my other videos. I think you'll enjoy it. And I hope you all enjoy the rest of y'all's day, evening, whatever moment you may be in. And I'm out.